Audio Tini 3 TV News Skip 2 The caretaker government is determined to hold election as early as possible says chief advisor Dr Fakhruddin Ahmed Four die at Rajshahi Medical College Hospital without treatment Awami League president Sheikh Hasina said the nation is now in a suffocating situation Prime Minister Tony Blair makes farewell visit to White House and Bangladesh India first test from today. Assalamu alaikum. This is Cypher's Television News. I'm Imtiaz Ahmed Siddiqui with you. Those were the headlines. Let's move on to the details and other national and international news stories. Chief Advisor to the Caretaker Government Dr. Fakhruddin Ahmed yesterday said the Caretaker Government is determined to hold the election as early as possible and to reform the electoral process. The Chief Advisor made the remarks when New South Korean Ambassador Park Suk Boom paid a courtesy visit at his office. Four patients died without treatment at Rajshahi Medical College Hospital yesterday as intern doctors refused to attend patients after they clashed with attendants of patients and beat one severely over accusation of neglect. Awami League president and former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said the nation is now in a suffocating situation as people do not have the right to express their opinion and political activities are banned. Politics is now banned. People are deprived of their political right to express their opinion, Awami League chief said on the occasion of 26th anniversary of her homecoming. British Prime Minister Tony Blair is making the final White House visit of his tenure to make a friendship with President Bush that many believe tarnished the legacy of the once popular British leader. Now sports. All-rounder Saqib Al-Hassan is all set to make his test debut when Bangladesh resumed their 5-day campaign after a 13-month long break as they take on India in first game of the two-match series at the Chittagong Divisional Stadium today. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for joining us and we invite you to watch Alam 30 News. Until then, Allah Hafiz.